Hi you guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today is the 8th episode of the 100 beer challenge and today we are looking at our third Asian beer, Kingfisher from India. I hope you enjoy. Yeah, before I'd like to continue with the video, I would like to tell you, yes, my hair still looks ridiculous. I still haven't had the chance to get it cut. And Steve, the transit camper, was very correct when he said it looked like a crash helmet. So there we go. Thanks. You should know the score by now. I'd like to give you a few facts and figures before I get to try and review the beer. I've got a few today, actually, a few decent facts. I mean, Kingfisher is a well-known beer, and in fact, it is India's most uh, popular beer in general. So, the first fact of the video I would like to say is that uh, Kingfisher was first introduced in 1857, which makes it 165 years old. Um, yeah, I did work out the maths this week. Brownie points to me. Uh, the Kingfisher is now brewed by United Breweries Group, who are based in Bangalore. And that's the same city where the Kingfisher beer first originated. Uh, the group were actually formed in 1978. Obviously, as well as India, um, Kingfisher is a pale lager that is actually available in 52 other different countries. I mean, that just tells you the stature of, of the company and the beer itself and how international it has become throughout the years. So before upon uh, filming this video, I had a look at a few internet forums on different taste notes for the beer um, and different like aroma notes as well. Um, apparently it's got a faint grassy malt aroma and it's meant to taste slightly sweet and has a pleasant bitterness. I mean, after a few of these, I'll be very unpleasantly bitter tomorrow morning. Do you know what I mean? But yes, it's a 4.8% beer. And today I've got it in a 330 millilitre green bottle. And I think it's time to actually try it. Right. The famous beer glass. The funky bottle opener. Let's not make a tit out of myself with this. Now that's skills. I mean, the bottle cap isn't even damaged. Right. Let's form some sort of head, you know. Don't get your hopes up. If I pour it in a bit quicker, it might form one. Oh, there we go, look. Whee, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. There's not much of an aroma there at all, really. A bit malty. It smells a bit sweet. We'll get to tasting it, shall we? Fuck it up. Oh, I swore there. Apologise. Oh, dear. That was really refreshing. Uh, very similar to Singer and Budweiser there. So I'm not going to give it the highest of scores this week. I'm going to give it a 7 again. Uh, there isn't a lot of aroma. There isn't a lot of uh, distinctive flavours. It's just a very good basic pale lager. Um, again, I would recommend this lager to um, people that haven't drank a lot of beers. Uh, people that want to you know, start delving into different lagers. That's a good starter point for me. Um, yeah, very refreshing. Very good. I've kept it nice and cool as well, so that probably helped it. So I will be giving it a 7 out of 10 this week. But there we go. Very pleasant. For those of their audio of on uh, quite loud on their devices, will be able to tell that I yeah still sound like Darth Vader. I don't know why, I just do. Um, yeah, so it would have sounded like you were watching a Star Wars film. <laughs> So there we have it, I've just rubbed it off on the uh, scratch card uh, chart, the 100 beers bucket list chart. And there we go, we've got the lovely logo there, that's a lovely purple colour behind the Kingfisher there. So yeah, we're starting to fill up this chart a bit more now. As I said, it was the 8th episode, that makes it 92 to go. Uh, we're making good progress now, I'm liking this. But anyway, thanks for watching guys, and uh, stay tuned for the next uh, few videos I've got coming out. And uh, if you can... 
If you could like, comment and subscribe, that would be absolutely fantastic and I'd really appreciate it. Cheers. Goodbye.